We've been telling you about a deadly early morning shooting. Here's what we know so far. We know that two people were killed. At least five people shot in total. Three others were taken to the hospital. Yeah, this is all developing still right now near the I-17 in Dunlap. Uh, quite a bit of police presence there because we've heard that officers were going door to door looking for a suspect or suspects. They haven't given any names, but they did apparently know who they were looking for. So again, five people in all shot, two people dead. We're expecting Phoenix police to give an update uh, news conference to our crews on the scene. And Gibby Para is going to be checking in with us as soon as we get that. But but again, uh, this area shut down. Don't go near Dunlap and I-17. Uh, the freeway, though, not affected, but certainly all those streets there in that area are. Yeah, Gibby Pot has been live on the scene all morning trying to gather new information. What he was able to tell us is at this point, they haven't shared whether there was a motive or whether these suspects or uh, the suspect and the victims knew each other. We do know that at least one of the victims was able to run a far distance away to try to get away from this scene. And uh, that's why they have separate scenes in this entire incident. So we're waiting for an update from Sergeant Carbajal. And uh, this is a live look right now at everything happening. It's a very active scene. So we will continue to follow this. And you see all the police presence right there. Uh, apparently the sergeant is headed to the podium right now where he will update us on what's happening. But Gibby telling us that uh, they were trying to get information. However, up until right now, those officers, as you can imagine, were very busy conducting their own investigation. So let's listen in right here for an update. Sergeant Carbajal, uh, we understand five people shot, mentioned two confirmed dead at this point, three taken to the hospital. Do you have an update for us? Yeah, so it's actually six victims. Uh, at about 3.30 this morning, Phoenix police received a 911 call reference a shooting uh, just, uh, just north of here at a residence. They arrived and they found six victims. Uh, as stated, Two were confirmed uh, deceased, still here at the scene. Four were transported to the hospital. Uh, all the four at the hospital are expected to survive. You know, at this point, do we have any idea on a suspect? Uh, we heard scanner traffic that you may have somebody that you're looking for actively right now. Yeah, so from the information we've received, it is a known suspect to the people that were at the location. And this all started about 3.30 this morning. Uh, there was a party going on at the residence. Witnesses said that there was a verbal altercation uh, between some of the people at some of the party goers. The suspect left the scene, came back. There was a knock at the door. When they opened the door, witnesses said that he went inside and just started shooting. You know, at, at this point, uh, we noticed that you have scaled back a little bit. Now you're walking through the neighborhood. You feel that this guy has kind of left the scene now, the suspect you're looking for. Yes. There's no immediate threat here in the area. Uh, like I said, we have information that we know who the suspect is, actively looking for him at this time. And what about any um, like schools or closures other than the road closures in the area? At this time, no schools will be affected, but this road will be closed for the foreseeable you know, future through mid-morning. Mm -hmm. And then do we know anything about what, what the argument was about? You know, we're getting different accounts from different witnesses. They're saying it was over you know, relationships, things of, of that nature, uh, but the suspect was known and was at the party for quite some time prior to leaving. And uh, you say he's known, do you know what his charges were previously or why he is known? Known to the party goers. Okay. Known to the party goers, witnesses were able to give officers at the scene, you know, not only a name, but, you know, description. I don't have a lot of the description right now. They're still trying to confirm that. And what about an address? Like are officers at the scene of his home? unknown at this time. You know, we, we understand that uh, there were three males earlier that were taken to the hospital. Do we know uh, the two that are deceased and then now the extra person you yeah. had mentioned, are they male, female? Yeah. So right now we have one confirmed female uh, deceased, uh, one adult male deceased, and the other four at the hospital are all males, adult males. And we have 22, 29, and 50 years old. What's that fourth one? You know, a lot of the ages are approximate okay. given by the witnesses. Um, I know that the, the female is approximately 18 years old, um, and then the, everybody else is scattered between 30s and, and 50s, like you said. 
you have any sort of vehicle description that the suspect may have taken off and anything that we can pass along? Okay. Witnesses stated to the officers that arrived on scene that the suspect may have gotten into a vehicle and left northbound on 27th Avenue, but that vehicle description uh, hasn't been provided at this time. So at this point, investigators are talking with witnesses. You still have some witnesses that are still here uh, inside the home? Yes, there's several witnesses. Detectives are on scene. They're getting ready to uh, you know, go through the scene. They're still interviewing witnesses at this time. So what's your message to the public right now? You know, right now, if anybody has any information reference this incident, if they believe they, or they were at the party and left, please call the Phoenix Police Department. They can even call silent witness if they want to remain anonymous. And uh, just cooperate with us, uh, with traffic. There's going to be some restrictions in the area. Uh, it's, you know, I, we know it's inconvenient. We're going through the scene as, as quickly as we can. If everybody could just have patience while we uh, conduct our work here. Thank you. So I apologize, I walked in a little late. The home where this all began is right up the street here. It the is. Bus. Okay. Is there any information at all on the suspect? I'm sorry? Are you guys releasing any information at all on the suspect? We will release the information. Like I said, right now, All right, are... we're getting a briefing from Phoenix Police there, uh, updating us on what happened early this morning during a shooting. We are hearing there are six victims out there, two of them dead, a female, a male. All the others are uh, being called males, and apparently this happened after some sort of altercation after a party that had been going on for some time. Yeah, and this is off of I-17. Dunlap and again for everyone who's in that area coming through that area the good news is they don't think there's any kind of danger to anyone else but we are gonna uh, just uh, wrap it up here but continue to follow this breaking news story of course all morning long.